feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up video here on the Central Pennsylvania Shrimp Tank. I'm your co-host, Nathan and and I was Kung Pao today, Kung thanks Pao. to Kung Pao. Bougie Shrimp, Taylor Ranker. We just got done interviewing Peter Sabota of Return Logic, and you can find a full replay of that broadcast on our website at www.shrimptankpodcast.com slash centralpa. Also, if you haven't done so yet, shame on you, if you haven't done so yet, Find and subscribe to our channel anywhere you can get a podcast. Search for The Central PA Shrimp Tank so you can keep up to date on all of our entrepreneur um, interviews and uh, get to know some of the companies that are right here in our backyard in Central Pennsylvania. And earlier, we learned a lot about – this is a unique experience for us here in The Central PA Shrimp Tank because uh, we talked through some, I think, unique Uh, pieces of your business related to multiple seed uh, rounds of raising capital and the, you know, interesting dynamics between uh, private equity and some VC firms and whatnot, uh, including a good partnership with uh, somebody, a company called the Ben Franklin Technology Partners. Uh, We learned about really his vision and how this came to be, which we're going to talk a little bit about here on the video. But... Nathan also won the battle and plead the fifth, and I am just thankful that uh, we found out some very key information as to, well, who he doesn't like as a retailer potentially and uh, a couple other things. So again, check out that full replay on our website. And officially, Peter, we'd like to welcome you to the post-show wrap-up video. Why don't you give a little bit of background about Return Logic and talk a little bit about what we coined the e-commerce revolution and I think why that really fed nicely to your company. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Um, so in general, um, Return Logic is a software um, and analytics company. And specifically, we work with retailers to provide them a returns management and remarketing platform uh, to help them become more profitable. Um, our mission, we want to help all retailers, uh, any return policy, any workflow, any e-commerce uh, technology we want to be able to support. So our mission um, is within those timeframes um, and within the constraints of Central Pennsylvania right now. So, which brings up kind of your second question, which is why Central Pennsylvania? Um, so I, I grew up in New York, uh, moved the company, um, moved here um, for my last duty station from the U.S. Navy, and it looked like a really awesome place to raise a family as well as grow a business. And I also went to Susquehanna University, so I was not unfamiliar ah, with Central okay. Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, yeah. it's a new tidbit of information. I got it. So con- some connections here. Yes. Yep. Loose. Well, yep. that also then brought you to, and this is, I think there are some maybe other states or universities that have tried to incubate a similar idea to what Ben Franklin Technology Partners is. But being in Central PA is what allowed you access to that type of resource, correct? So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So Central Pennsylvania, um, you know, going out and raising capital, of course, um, a lot of people are curious what we do here. We're a software as a service company, uh, and it's not really typical of the area. Um, but I found that there's a lot of incredibly great talent here that works remotely, and a lot of them uh, really wanted to work for a company uh, in Central Pennsylvania, but there were no tech SaaS companies. So part of our mission was let's build it right here in Central Pennsylvania, Camp Hill. Um, let's rally the necessary resources to people. Right now we're a team of 15 and growing. We, ex- we expect that to grow substantially over the next 12 to 24 months. But in general, we found why not Central Pennsylvania? It's very cost effective, great quality of life. Uh, in general, it's a fantastic place to live. So the argument that the tech talent wasn't here was wrong. The companies weren't here to pull in that tech talent. That's what we're looking to change. By the way, we should probably go back quickly because one of the things that I didn't realize about the opportunity for Return Logic is two things. Can you talk a little bit about the shocking percentage of items that actually get returned and also the number of websites that, that theoretically are your client base? Yeah, so the, the, the market is substantial. Um, that's an understatement. So the e-commerce <laughs> revolution is this. Yeah. Um, a lot of the brands we shop at now are very, very much have a social mission tied to them. So we focus on modern e-commerce companies. And these are companies that the DNA, the company was started for a mission and they happen to sell a product. And again, the companies I referenced earlier that you, you hear about are typically on those missions. So the e-commerce revolution is no one builds their website anymore. They all build on a platform. Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, these are all examples of platforms if you're going to start a company that you would build upon. Unfortunately, none of those platforms have a valid or robust enough enterprise-grade returns platform. 
that's the gap that we're filling. So it's an incredible opportunity while this change is happening. E-commerce is only 10% of all retail in the U.S., so it's an amazing opportunity for both technology as well as growth potential. And what was the, I think it was 30 to 40%, you said, all items purchased? Did I catch yeah, that right? collectively across e-commerce, you could just say 30%, but if you go into women's apparel, it could be 50%, so it's driven a lot by categories, but in general, just make the assumption 30% is That's a That's just shock, still shock. I know Big you, Joy, our producer yeah. here, her jaw dropped when she heard yeah. that. Like, <laughs> yeah, Because okay. she loves everything she buys online and keeps it, right? So You don't return anything. So. <laughs> That's right, yeah. All right, well, let's talk about because you mentioned, you didn't mention any of the companies. We did talk about them on the podcast itself. But the mission behind the company, oftentimes it's masked, if you will, by what they're actually selling or what they're actually you know, bringing to the public. So what is your company in the business of or what's your mission? At the highest level, Return Logic is in a business of helping e-commerce companies compete in an Amazon versus everyone world. We're providing them the right weapons to fight the fight. We can't fight that for them, so we provide them the software to do it. The secondary mission, and the one that's a little bit closer to heart, is our mission and what we're really doing is building a collaborative technology company where the collective brain power of the individuals and team we bring together can solve very, very difficult challenges. Whether it's a returns problem is secondary to that. So we have two missions. One really clearly focused at our retailers that we want to help them grow and be part of their stories. But we also have an internal mission to our team to help each other and improve our careers and learn as quickly as we can. That's great. By the way, I was just reminded that my first two wives returned me, but I'm not sure that that counts as an e-commerce <laughs> That was not story. logical, by the way. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was not logical. <laughs> well, Peter, thank you again for being on the show. Again, giving us very unique insight into um, this world that you're living in. For our viewers who are maybe interested in learning, well, you brought a couple challenges. One is you know, maybe you as a software provider for their organization, but also talent. Right, you're looking for talent, talent and yeah. there's opportunities to learn at least about your company. What's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, so just to be clear, CEO of a software company is only three things they're ever doing, pushing a vision, recruiting talent, raising money. <laughs> so I'm doing all those three all the time. Yeah. Okay, so you. anyone out there, that, that's exactly our mission. But of course, recruiting talent is probably the hardest part of my job. So absolutely anyone who ever want to get in touch with me, you know, Peter at ReturnLogic, of course, ReturnLogic.com are two great ways to get in touch with me or the company. So we need folks to have, have capital, talent, or who can listen. That's right. Yeah, three, <laughs> yeah. three good skills to yeah. have, yes. Well, again, thank you for being on the show. Next week, we have Jeffrey McCausland, who runs Diamond Six. It's a leadership coaching and training organization. And so we're going to get a little bit of a different flair uh, from him. He uses a lot of military and battle uh, stories to uh, engage in leadership training. So uh, we'll get that next week. But again, check out Peter on our website, shrimptankpodcast.com slash Central PA, we'll see you next week. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp.